this is the multiplying by 1001's trick, which is very similar to the 101's trick. The only difference is you will be writing three digits instead of two digits, as you did in the 101's trick. So if I'm multiplying 1001 by 28, I always have to write three digits. And in this case, I would write all three digits. In my mind, I would want to write 028, but since the zero doesn't have any significance, I would just write 28. But for the second half, I need to write 028. So just write the number twice, but make sure when it's less than three digits long that you add a zero where needed. 028, 028, don't write the first zero. Now it's a little bit easier when it's three digits long like this number. In this case, you would just write the number twice. 124, 124, and yes, it's that easy. When it gets harder is when it's four digits long, because just like in the 101's trick when it was three digits long, you had to add the first and last. You're going to have to do that here also. So let me take it off to the side for a minute and explain to you visually what's going on. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and you will be adding these. So you would write one, two, three, you would add the first and last five, two, three, four. So let's dumb it down for ourselves. You would write the first three digits, one, two, three. You would add the first and the last digit, five, and you would write the last three digits, two, three, four. A little bit trickier, but not hard. And that is the 1001's trick, which can be found on page 16. Good luck with this trick.